Hey, Angel Medina here. On today's video, I'm going to go over no matter what you do, you're in sales. So I want to go over some key factors and I talk about this in my book as well. As far as anything you do, whether you're a doctor or a lawyer or a stay at home mom or somebody that you know is really uh, wants to go up to the next level of their corporation. Um, I want to go over something really important, uh, whether your salary or whatever you're trying to accomplish, you're in sales. And I know that that word right there has a lot of people thinking, oh, well, I don't sell anyone. I don't have to convince anyone to do anything. But on today's video, I'm going to go over why the first step is understanding that everything we do, we're in sales. And the second step is how to, to make sure that if that's the case, how to make sure that you're doing or you're going or you're accomplishing everything that you want to do as far as with your goals and how it could actually help you. So if you're new to this channel, I'd ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. Angel Medina, your lifelong mortgage advisor. Thank you. I want to go over something that I find very interesting when I talk to people, whether they're, uh, you know, stay at home dad, stay at home mom, they uh, work for a corporation, they work for a big company. Um, they ask me questions like, oh, they want to know what I do. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I can never do sales. And I want to, I want to let you know that everyone is in sales. And sales is not just a, what a lot of people think it is as far as talking someone into doing something. You're always gonna have the good, the bad, the not so great in any profession that you do. So we can all agree upon that. Now the thing is, is if you're a parent, then you're in sales. You're trying to sell your kid every day on how to do good in school, why they should do good in school, why they should listen to you, why they should always try to you know accomplish your goals and so forth so if you're not selling them on you know how to do more then they're more than likely telling you why they don't want to do the things that you want them to do so it goes the same thing if you're working for a company and you're on a salary and you're like i don't work in sales um you know if you've been there a long time you have to understand that you're selling them every day on why they should keep you because at some point, which you probably have all experienced, there's going to get to a point where they're going to say, oh, wait a minute, we have to let some people go. And if you are one of those people that have stayed on to the job, then you are one of those people that have sold them on why they should keep you, why that you're valuable. So I want to go over, really it's essential, whatever you do, whether you are in a sales job, whether you're not, one thing I learned early in my career that no matter what, whether I do a job where they pay me a certain amount, whether I do a job where I can make more, the great thing about you know what we do is you're just communicating on why someone should value your services. Whether it be somebody that has knowledge, somebody that you know wants to help you understand, whether you're a teacher. A lot of teachers, they go and do their job, they're constantly selling their students on how to do more. And most of the great salespeople, they're great because they're speaking from the heart. I'm talking about people who actually change the world for the better, they're great for a reason. So if you're one of those people where you feel that you're not in sales, you have to sell your boss every day on why they should keep you. So again, uh, I hope this video helps and it's really meant to let you know that everything we do, um, you always have to be understanding that if you want to advance, you want to do better, you want to uh, you know, have more success in certain areas, you're, you have to grow and the only way to grow is to learn more and to go through uncomfortable situations to where you're constantly uh, challenging yourself. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, I would ask you please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you notice there's a bell, if you hit that bell next to the subscribe button, it'll actually notify you anytime I upload any new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Angel Medina, your lifelong mortgage advisor. Thank you.